Hello friends. We continue our discussion on economic integration by looking at the theory associated with it, popularly called the theory of customs union. There are two static effects of an economic integration known as the trade creation and trade diversion. Today, we'll be looking at the concept of trade creation, otherwise known as trade creating customs union. Welcome to the session. In our last session on economic integration, we have seen that it refers to discriminately reducing trade barriers among the member countries. That is, economic integration implies a coalition between countries or countries are coming together to form a larger economic unit by providing some kind of a preferential treatment to member countries. It is discriminately reducing or sometimes even eliminating trade barriers among the member countries who are in fact forming the economic integration scheme and we have also seen five different levels or the degrees or the types of economic integration as well. Today, as we have said, we will be focusing on the effect of economic integration or the theory associated with economic integration and there are two partial or static effect of economic integration namely the concept of trade creation as well as trade diversion and these two concepts were coined by the economist Jacob Weiner in his work in the year 1950 called the customs union issue. So we'll be looking at the arguments of Jacob Weiner and how he explained the concept of trade creation for today we'll be only looking at the concept of trade creation. Now before that just to make things a bit clear we have seen that when the, the countries form economic integration, there is a partial movement towards free trade. Why partial movement? There will be increased trade, there will be free trade only among the member countries who are joining the customs union. That means there will be increased trade or there will be trade creation among the member countries because these countries now do not face any kind of tariff protection or there will not be any tariff wars. At the same time, there can be diversion of trade from an efficient non-member country who still faces tariff to a member country who now no longer faces any kind of tariff. So the net effect of the economic integration is not very ambiguous and it depends on how it basically affects an individual country. So today, following the concept propounded by Jacob Weiner, we will be looking at the concept of trade creation. How trade creation is taking place when countries form the economic integration or in that case the customs union. Now before explaining or before providing a, a diagrammatic presentation of the trade creation, first of all like, let us elaborate the very meaning of trade creation. What is the meaning of trade creation? Trade creation refers to the shifts in the product's origin. It refers to the shifts in the product's origin from a high cost domestic producer to a low cost member producer. That is, trade creation refers to a situation in which the high cost domestic producer is replaced by low cost imports from the member countries when countries form economic integration or customs union for example. So now when the country removes the tariff among the member countries it no longer purchases the commodity from a high cost domestic producer rather it imports this commodity from an efficient producer an efficient country which is in fact coming together to form an economic integration scheme so it's a shifts in the products origin so basically it's a shifts in the products origin from from whom from a high cost domestic producer to a low cost member country that means that it's a movement towards comparative advantage because products origin now shifts to an efficient 
member country producer who is a vision who do holds a comparative advantage so it's a movement towards a more efficient or more specialization it's based on the principle of comparative advantage and it's also a movement towards free trade because because now the country do not have any kind of tariff restriction i'm obviously among the member countries so trade is being created there is an increased trade because previously the country purchase a commodity from its domestic producer now it imports the same commodity from an efficient low cost member country so trade is being created so it will be beneficial the so trade creation leads to an increase in welfare in a number of ways how in a number of ways one there is increased trade there is free trade there is more open economy mold a second one there will be reduction in price because now you are purchasing the commodity from a low cost member country rather than purchasing from a high cost domestic producer so it's a move so there will be greater specialization there will be increased income it will increase the welfare because obviously price of this commodity in the domestic market will decline so again even more uh, to bring more clarity to the concept trade creation itself trade creation itself consists of let me put like this trade creation itself consists of two kind of effect there are two kind of effect one is the production effect what is production effect production effect in the sense that there will be reduction in the domestic production or domestic production will be curtailed or there will be reduction in the domestic production and it will be replaced by low cost import which is the production effect of the trade creation and there will be consumption effect as well consumption effect in the sense that now since the price of this commodity has reduced has gone down the consumers will now start purchasing more of this commodity so there are these there are two effect one the production effect and the other one is the consumption effect production effect in the sense that when the when uh, you are you are in for in forming a customs union or an economic integration scheme with a member country the domestic production which is obviously high cost domestic production this high cost domestic production will be replaced by low cost import which is the production effect and as far as consumption effect is concerned what is consumption effect since the price of this commodity has declined in the domestic market domestic producers will now sorry domestic consumers will start purchasing this commodity it in a greater quantity so consumption will increase which is the consumption effect these two effect the production as well as consumption effect together form what is known as the trade creation effect so trade creation effect basically consists of a production effect as well as a consumption effect now one more before moving towards this diagrammatic presentation let me just provide an arbitrary example of how basically this trade creation is taking place let us suppose that we have two countries say let me put like here there are two countries say we have a country a and country b we have two countries and let us suppose that the uh, the price of this commodity the price of a commodity in the uh, say for example say commodity x in this uh, country a is a price is say rupees 12 the price is say rupees Eight in the maybe let me like this. It is rupees ten in the country A as well as it is rupees eight in the country B. So just to put an example, and let us also suppose that so let us also suppose that there is the presence of tariff and tariff is rupees four. So we have an example where a commodity, say commodity X, is being sold at rupees ten in country A, and it is. being sold at rupees 8 in country b obviously country b do have a comparative advantage right but there is the presence of tariff for which is say this for so when even though the country b have a comparative advantage in the production of commodity x this commodity will never enter into country a because when the tariff is being included the price of this commodity will be 8 plus 4 equals 12 it can never be sold in country a 
so obviously country way country a will rely on the high cost domestic production for this commodity now let us suppose that if this country or country a and country b forms an economic integration scheme when when it form an economic integration scheme now we will not have any kind of tariff no tariff so this commodity will enter into country a from country b without tariff so this commodity will now be sold at country a at rupees 8 earlier this commodity were being purchased from a high cost domestic producer now since this commodity is being imported from country b the price of this commodity will decline obviously domestic production will have to fall now because they will not be relying on the high cost domestic production so this is the essence of the trade creation high cost domestic production is replaced by low cost imports from the member country so this is the basic principle of trade creation now let us shift our focus to some kind of an analysis by using the uh, demand curve as well as supply curve and we are talking about a case of country 2 because this figure I think uh, we have already drawn the similar kind of a figure when we explain the effect of tariff the uh, the effect of quota as well almost the same kind of a figure we're talking about country 2 which imports commodity X we know that country 2 is a capital abundant country and this country specializes in the production of commodity Y which is a capital intensity commodity and this country imports commodity X now let us start with initially we have a situation of only domestic production and consumption so this is we uh, measure the quantity in the x-axis and the price in the y-axis and we have a downward sloping demand curve and upward sloping supply curve see here together they intersect at this point where the price uh, the price of this commodity is the price of this commodity is 3 quantity demanded equals quantity supplied is 30 initial situation where we are assuming that there is no bilateral trade relationship between the member countries or any kind of uh, trade relationship between the rest of the world this equilibrium will be set at price 3 and quantity 30 now let us suppose that this country in fact forms a some kind of a trade relationship with the rest of the world say country 1 which specializes in the production of commodity X so we have a situation where country 1 is willing to export commodity X to this country which is country 2. But we will start with the case when this country in fact imposes a tariff. Say for example say as tariff on the commodity X and the, when tariff is being included, tariff is being included then, then this will be let us put like this. Let me put like S1 plus T. This is tariff included perfectly elastic supply curve of country 1. So when tariff is being included, so this is the situation. Let me like this. See, this is the supply curve of country 1 for commodity X which now inclusive of tariff now when it inclusive of tariff this that's why we I co uh, quote it as S1 plus T that means supply curve plus tariff so this is the case so at this kind of a supply curve now this country demands 50 at rupees 2 at rupees 2 let us suppose that it is the rupees 2 is the tariff inclusive price of commodity x now at this rupees 2 the domestic demand for this commodity is 50 50 is being this is demand curve 50 is being demanded in which 20 is domestically produced 30 30 is imported clear clear that means when there is tariff let me let me put like this when there is tariff the price of the commodity is 2 when there is tariff the price of this commodity is 2 in which the demand is equal to 50 domestic supply let me call it as domestic supply or domestic production whatever you call it it is equal to 20 let us suppose that 30 being imported 30 being imported now 
now let's suppose that this country one and two forms some kind of an economic integration scheme for example say customs union so there will not be any tariff there will not be any tariff so our new supply curve will be our new supply curve will be like this so since this come the price of this commodity will this is our new supply curve s1 now this supply curve do not have any tariff see the difference see the difference the first difference you can easily observe the price of this commodity has declined from rupees 2 to rupees 1 when there is a reduction or there, when there is an elimination of tariff in this case there is an elimination of tariff earlier there were there were tariff was there when this country forms the customs union with the country one there will not be any internal tariff there will not be any internal tariff and the price of this commodity declined from rupees 2 to rupees 1 now see certain interesting point like here now domestic production of this commodity will decline earlier it was 20 now it was 10 let me explain here tariff without tariff no tariff no tariff price is 1 without tariff the price is 1 now the demand of this commodity see here this is the demand demand for this commodity is 70 demand curve this is the demand this is the, uh, the demand now as far as domestic supply is concerned or domestic production is concerned it's only 10 it's only 10 how much is being imported that means 60 being imported earlier import was 13 now its import was 16 see the point there is a reduction in the domestic production and it is replaced by low cost import this is trade creation this is trade creation that is the high cost domestic production is replaced by low cost imports from in our example country one you can see certain point one there is a reduction in the domestic production what was that we call it as the production effect that means there will be a reduction in the high cost domestic production and there was there is an increase in consumption earlier consumption was only 50 earlier consumption was only 50 now consumption is 70 there is an increase in consumption we called it as a consumption effect the production and consumption effect together form the trade creation effect clear that means the, the production effect which is a reduction in the domestic pr production and an increase in import consumption effect as a result of a fall in price there is an increased consumption which is the consumption effect the production and consumption effect together form the trade creation effect now let us more go deeply into this kind of a figure and let us what's essentially the net we have said that the being uh, trade creation leads to an increase in welfare now what is the increase in welfare here like let me just put certain alphabets here like say a b say a c d e f g h kind of a certain alphabet just to make things a bit clear now we have a reduction in price like from 2 to 1 so the net benefit for the country the benefit for the country as a whole is this much is this much the, that means let me this much is the benefit for the country that means what was this point this was d right d b h c or c d b h is the benefit for the country as a reduction of the fall in the price of this commodity from 2 to rupees 1 but this is not the entirely the game because there are certain losses as well what was the losses of, of course there is there is an increase in the welfare for the country because the price of this commodity has gone up but there are certain losses for the country as well the most important loss is what now we don't have any tariff so government loses the tariff revenue we have a revenue effect of tariff right so when 
the country forms an economic integration with the country one now we don't have any tariff this rupees one do not contain any tariff so the country loses tariff revenue which is the one loss the second loss is that there is a reduction in the domestic production we, earlier we call it as a tariff we call it as a production effect we don't know there is a reduction in the domestic production so there will be a reduction in the producer surplus as well when so we have a situation like here like here for example this point this point let me let me put this area this area d a c e is basically loss of loss of producer surplus loss of producer surplus so this area gone that means uh, since there is a reduction in the domestic production from 20 to 10 this area represent the loss of producer surplus and this area this part this part this part is basically the revenue loss of revenue to the country so from the entire gain what was the entire gain this was the total gain for the country two parts can be eliminated this is the loss of the producer surplus why there is a loss of producer surplus because there is a reduction in the domestic production so this is the loss for the producer there is no we call it as loss of producer surplus so this is here this part this part is basically loss of revenue for the government this part a b g f this part is the loss of revenue to the government that means that we have only two areas or two triangles let me call it we have two triangles and let me shade it let me shade it to make things a bit more clear let me shade this oh 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 oh, oh. let me shade this yeah two triangles let me shade like this only these two triangles is the net gain for the country these two triangles this a triangle as well as this triangle no what was this triangle a e f and i think it was g here mm? b g h are the net gain for the country for example this triangle this triangle is basically a production gain is a production gain or we can call it as the production effect this triangle because now we have now we have a situation in which high cost domestic production is replaced by low cost imports so this is a production gain or we earlier we call it as what production effect so this triangle we call it as aef this triangle is the production gain or the production effect what is the production effect the high cost domestic production is now replaced by low cost import so this triangle is the production effect or the production gain this triangle is the consumption gain is the consumption effect what uh, because there is an increase in consumption earlier consumption was 50 now the consumption is increased to 70 as a result of obviously reduction in price this triangle this triangle is the gain in consumption bgh is a gain in consumption this is the consumption effect so these two triangles these two shaded triangles are the net gain for the country should be said that this is the production gain we said or the production effect what we call it jacob weiner has focused his analysis only on this particular aspect namely the production effect of trade creation these issues like trade creation do have an implication with respect to consumption this con this concept was more elaborated by Mead in the year 1955 in his work the theory of customs union and later Lipsy also in fact explored the consumption effect of trade creation so this this is basically how trade creation works so one more before concluding what was the trade creation trade creation is one of the effect of economic integration because there are two static effects of economic integration one is trade creation the other one is trade diversion trade creation refers to a shifts in the products origin from a high cost mem 
high cost domestic producer to a low cost member country so domestic production is replaced by low cost imports from the member country high cost domestic production is replaced by low cost imports from the member country obviously it's a movement towards free trade it's a movement towards greater specialization on the basis of comparative advantage it increases welfare and we have seen that how it basically increases welfare as well so this that's all as far as the trade creating customs union is concerned hope that uh, the points are clear to you and those who are interested can always join in our telegram group in the name of our channel itself for more elaboration for more discussion in the next segment we will be focusing on the second part which is the trade diversion so, we, so in the next video inshallah we will be focusing on trade creation as well as other equilibrium or other effects with respect to other dynamic effect with respect to the customs union and economic integration hope that this session is useful to you so until we meet this time stay safe happy learning thank you